Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll walk you through how to use our ultimate project organizer to keep all your projects neatly organized. It works with most popular note-taking apps like GoodNotes, Notability, NoteShelf, NoteFone, Flexo, and so on. In this demo, I'll show you in a few of these apps so you can see how it would work in your favorite app. First, let me quickly show you how the Project Organizer Notebook works. On the home page, you can see that it can hold up to 40 projects, organized into 5 categories. Tap the project numbers to go directly to the project index for that category. You can also use the quick links at the bottom right to jump between categories. Going back to the home page, you'll notice we have plenty of templates available. 24 note templates, task management templates, project management templates, as well as monthly and weekly planner templates. Now let's go to a project category. Each category can hold eight projects. For each project, you can jot down the project title, due date, priority, status. This way, you can have a quick overview of all your projects under different categories. Tap the arrow button at the top right of a project to go to its project planner page. Here, you can set your project goals, outline tasks, and review progress. As I mentioned, you can also use our various templates to detail your projects. Just pick the one you need and copy it after the project you are working on. Next, let's see a hands-on example. Let's say, I'm a small business owner selling handmade stationery. Here's how I would use the notebook to manage my projects. I break my projects into four categories, product development, marketing campaigns, event planning, and content creation. In product development, I have a project called Eco-Friendly Journal Launch. The project is in progress, set as high priority, and due on November 16. Let's go to its project planner page. Here I'll set goals and list the main tasks. For each main task, I can write down subtasks or any additional notes. For example, the main task source suppliers can use the task breakdown template. I copy it after this project. and write down all the subtasks. Under each subtask, I can take notes as needed. Next, let's assume I have a Zoom meeting with a potential supplier and I can use the meeting notes template to record the details of the meeting. So I'll copy the template like I previous did and jot down the details. Next, I'll use a monthly calendar to mark the key dates of this project. First, make a copy after the project. Then I need to put the dates on the calendar before using it. Now I can mark all the key dates. If you want full flexibility for your project notes, you can use any of these notes templates. For example, I wanted to brainstorm ideas of the journal cover. I'll use the dotted note paper. Okay, I hope this simple demo helps you get a sense of how you can use our project organizer to better manage and organize your projects. One important tip is that you can duplicate the project organizer notebook for different purposes. Let's say, for the demo I just showed you, I'll label it as Stationary Business 2025 and I wanted to make a copy for the next year, Stationary Business 2026. I could just copy the 2025 one directly if I know there will be some duplicating content and I can just modify it based on my 2026 business plan. Also. I can make a few more copies to organize different areas of my life. 
as these copies are not associated with my business, I'll copy the original notebook instead. One is for personal goals, one is for creative projects, and one is for home projects. Another tip I want to highlight is that the project planner layout for each project is customizable. We have 12 layouts for you to choose from. You can choose one that suits your planning style or you can choose based on your project type. For example, if you're an artist, you can choose the bujo or blank version for your creative projects. The project organizer also comes with calendar integration. First, tap the install link on the copyright page. You'll see there are two shortcut links here. Make sure you install the 42 line 4Q shortcut. The other one is for our digital planners like the all-in-one planner. Let's go back to our project notebook. Tap the link out icon at the bottom right corner and it will give you options to add an event to Apple Calendar, Google Calendar, Auto Calendar, and the Reminders app. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Again, thank you so much for supporting 42Line. See you in my next video.